The purpose of this video is to provide information on the surgical protocols normally adopted in operating theatres, adapted to the problems of ambulatory surgery. The particularly high risk of contamination during surgical operations has been demonstrated in numerous studies. To reduce these risks, we need to create protocols that define suitable operational procedures. The aseptic technique is a valid tool that can be used in the design of these protocols. In oral surgery, and particularly in implantology, an incorrect aseptic practice can seriously compromise tissue regeneration and later implant osseointegration. The use of procedural kits allows for better organization of the operation and safeguards against undesirable variations in the protocols. Omnia wishes to share its own experience in the customization of surgical kits that respect the techniques and needs of the surgical team. The ideal surgical team should comprise at least the following. One doctor, one sterile assistant, one non-sterile assistant. Prior to the operation, we need to verify the tasks of each operator. Using aids such as the decontamination mat or overshoes, we can limit the bacterial load in the surgical environment. The first phase involves the scrupulous cleaning of the working environment. A suitably protected assistant, wearing a mask, cap, goggles and disinfecting gloves, removes everything from the dental chair and the work surfaces that is not required during the operation. All surfaces are then cleaned and disinfected using suitable products. The various parts of the dental chair are covered with waterproof, disposable protective materials that act as a barrier. This operation allows us to drastically reduce the risk of cross-contamination. Once the disinfection procedure is completed, the kit is opened. Wearing a fresh pair of gloves, the non-sterile assistant checks the kit packaging for damage. She checks the expiry date and any other warnings on the package. This information must be noted on the operation record sheet. The assistant checks that the kit contains all the necessary equipment and materials to carry out the operation. Any missing items must be added at this point. Having completed this check, the assistant removes the surgical kit from the package and uses the tabs to unfold the second wrapping. The assistant then puts on the garments required by the specific protocol. Having removed any rings and bracelets, she then proceeds to wash her hands using ordinary detergent soap. Using a scrubbing sponge, she disinfects her hands, under the nails and her forearms. The purpose of this procedure is to reduce the resident bacterial load. This cleaning procedure follows a set sequence. Fingers, palm, wrist, forearm up to 5 cm from the elbow for a minimum of 2.5 minutes per hand. The hands must then be rinsed, keeping them raised above elbow height. From this point on, the assistant must not touch any contaminated object, otherwise she will have to scrub up again. The washed assistant takes a sterile towel and dries herself. With the help of the non-sterile assistant, she starts to dress. First, she takes the surgically folded gown from the packet. She puts her hands into the armholes, taking care not to touch the outside of the gown. She slides arms into the gown, keeping her hands inside the cuffs. The non-sterile assistant fixes the gown, at the top with the Velcro, and at the waist using the internal ties. Having taken the gloves from their wrapper, the assistant puts them on by herself. Specific techniques prevent accidental contamination. Then, with the help of the non-sterile assistant, she fixes the gown with the external ties. From this point on, the assistant is considered sterile and must not touch any non-sterile object. 
The next phase involves isolating the working environment using sterile protections designed specifically to cover the various surfaces. Using the surgical kit, the sterile assistant isolates the myo table and the delivery unit using the special cover. The cover is folded in such a way as to be handled also by non-sterile staff if needed. Using a suitably sized waterproof drape, she covers the serving table and the cuspidor unit. The cloth is adhesive to avoid accidental movements during the operation. The absorbent side stops the spread of any contaminated liquids. Using a transparent waterproof adhesive drape, she isolates the physio dispenser and prepares the cooling systems. She inserts the infusion tubing with drip adjuster into the peristaltic pump and connects the pipe to the terminals of the micromotor, fixing it with clips. Additional cooling systems, such as the Omni Irrigator, can integrate the traditional systems, provided these are equipped with suitable couplings. The Omni Sleeve Inserter makes it easier to fix the sheath onto the cables and suction pipes. She fixes the sheath to the micromotor with the elastic band. The special safety pouch, which can be attached to the work surfaces, avoids the dispersion of contaminating materials around the operating room. The lamp handles are isolated using special adhesive covers. And finally, the instruments needed for the operation are laid out. We can now proceed with the preparation of the patient. The aim must be to isolate the operating field from potential external contamination. The patient is hooked up to a pulse oximeter that monitors the parameters during the operation. Using the special kit, the assistant disinfects the skin around the oral cavity, starting from the lips and moving outwards. The second assistant and the doctor proceed to wash their hands and dress. Having completed the hand washing and drying procedure, the preparation is completed with the assisted dressing of both assistant and doctor. In this case, the sterile assistant fully unwraps the gown, allowing the other operator to put his hands in the gown arms and out at the cuffs. The already sterile assistant also helps with putting on the gloves and closing the gown. Areas where sterility is particularly important. To create surgical environments, we must use materials that guarantee the isolation of the patient from the surrounding environment. Non-woven fabric was designed specifically to create the required barrier effect. It is absorbent and waterproof, water repellent and transpiring. The patient can be isolated using different techniques according to the requirements of the surgical team. Operating field with two drapes with adhesive U-shaped slot. The drape is placed over the patient's chest and unfolded towards his feet. Having removed the protective strips from the adhesive side, the drape is fixed along the patient's face and the adhesive tabs are joined at the back of the neck. The head drape is placed with the adhesive strip on the forehead and then unfolded backwards over the head. In this case, the patient's nose and eyes remain uncovered. Extra oral bone grafts. 
If the operation involves extra oral bone grafts, drapes with specific holes can be used to isolate the required area in the best way. Operating field using mono drape and adhesive hole. The drape is placed over the patient's chest and unfolded towards his feet. In this case, the patient must be attached to a suitable oxygenation and monitoring system. The protective strips are removed from the adhesive and the drape is fixed over the face. The sterile field can be integrated using a transparent incision drape. Once the patient is completely prepared, the disposable suction system is connected. The slotted drapes stop the cannula from being accidentally dropped and consequently contaminated. If required, autolog bone collection filters can be applied to suction systems that have special lure fittings. At this point, the environment has been correctly isolated and the team can now move on to the surgical phase. Once the operation is over, the highly contaminated materials such as gauze, pads and filters are sealed inside the specially marked pouch. The patient drape is folded up towards the inside to avoid staff contact with the contaminated side. The same procedure is used for undressing the operators. The gloves must be removed, avoiding contact between the external side and the skin. The Mayo cover may be used as a waste disposal bag for drapes, gowns and gloves. The procedures shown are simple guidelines. With the same main aim of creating an aseptic environment, your own experience may require a modification of the protocols. Omnia is specialized in the manufacture of customizable sterile sets designed for the specific needs of the surgical team.